I've been to the future, and I'm going to tell you everything about the future. In the past, I told you that there was only one song in the future, and it was the only song you were allowed to listen to, and nobody ever got tired of it. One, it was a half-truth. There are secret underground militias and rebel groups who make their own music, their own special kind of music. They also only have one song, and it's this song. In the future, nobody is born with tonsils. And people feel kind of empty without their tonsils. The thing is, nobody knows why we stopped being born with tonsils. It's a mystery. So we get prosthetic tonsils that you have to get removed. Now, in the future, tonsils are a status symbol. And you can get your tonsils in a, a, a diverse array of colors. Only three colors. All of them are skin tone. In the future, there are no prisons. If you commit a crime, they tell you not to do it again. And if you do it again, they tell you in a stern voice, Hey, stop that. In the future, you can be in a relationship with a robot, but they'll never love you back. They're looking for someone more mature, like that handsome, strapping IBM mainframe down the block. He has his shit together. He's been around since the vacuum two days with those big, strong ARM co-processors. How can you compete with that? In the present, you can go blind from staring at the sun. In the future, that's not a problem. They put a big metal shield in front of the sun. Can't go blind now. In the future, if you do go blind, everybody's sort of okay with it. You could get corrective surgery. They have ocular implants now. But there's nothing really to look at. You're not missing out on much. In the future, the election of 2020 was a turning point in American politics. Cyber Bernie Sanders versus Ron Paul in a big neck suit. Ron Paul running for the shadow libertarians. It was a very bloody election. Many lives were lost. We still don't know who won because we don't really have a president anymore. We just kind of said, you know what? What does he even do anyway? There isn't a whole lot of government now. I mean, there is. We just don't really elect anybody. And you can't, like, if something goes wrong, you can't complain to somebody. You don't know who's in the government. You don't even know, like... Who the hell tells me I gotta cry for an hour every day? What the? Well, anyway, it's a very confusing future. In the future, there are tons of rebel groups and underground militias, but they're not really sure who they're rebelling against. I mean, we're not sure. They just kind of hang out in the woods all day and read political manifestos by Steve Harvey and um, that guy who sells the grills um, he was a boxer hold on I'm drawing a blank he wrote some political manifestos about how to grill fat off of things that have fat on them well anyway like I said they hang out in the woods reading these political manifestos and plotting to overthrow something. You know, in the future, there aren't a lot of woods. Forests, we sort of, we didn't cut them down, per se, we just, we, we didn't do anything with them, and they just kind of did their own thing. The trees evolved. It was very fast, actually, on like a large bio-sphere time scale. 
trees should not have been able to evolve that fast. We're starting to think, we're starting to postulate the idea that trees were always sentient, but just didn't have a whole lot to do. Couldn't really be bothered. They kind of had an ideal thing going on, like sit in one spot, photosynthesize. That's the ideal state of being in the future, and it's what we all work towards every day with our prosthetic tonsils and robot love. Our sweet, sweet robot love. In the future, college is prohibitively expensive, like it is in the past. Nobody can go, uh, so nobody does. The campuses are completely empty, and the professors sit in chairs all day and just spin around. Sweet, 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 rotating, rotating chairs. chairs. They're a luxury, a real high-priced commodity. That's what all the university money would go to if people still went to university. Those fancy rolling chairs that you could spin around in all day. Not a care in the world. In the future, you know, you don't go to college. What's the worst that could happen? There aren't any jobs. The robots that we make love to every night do the jobs for us. They're very good at these jobs. Uh, all the new kinds of jobs in the future, you wouldn't believe. Let me list some for you. In the future, you can be a man who sifts through the garbage in search for coupons. In the future, you can work at a fast food place and just, you know, stand around make it look like people want to eat there. In the future, there is a lot of glue that needs to be made. You need to make those horse hides into some high quality adhesive for arts and crafts. Uh, in the future, um, you gotta find out where the trees went. You get to go on a big hunt for the trees that got up and walked away in the woods where the rebels and secret militias would be hiding if there were still trees. Uh, there are other jobs, like policeman, you can tell people to stop doing things in a stern voice. Um, because as we all know, that's, uh, that's how they solve crime. Which is also why we still have the militias, we can't, they don't listen to us when we tell them to stop. In the future, did you forget something? Well, it doesn't matter, it probably wasn't worth remembering. But if you want to remember something, they have those, um, what was that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where they made the fake memories? Total Recall. Woo! Total Recall. That was a, a good movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. They made a remake that had Brian Cranston in it. In the future, those are the only two movies. Funny how that happens. In the future, we're running out of time. We, uh, um, solved all of the big ecological problems of the 20th and 21st century, like global warming, all, all that sort of stuff. We didn't solve the trees, so that was weird. Um, but we found out, in a very a startling revelation, the quantum physics couldn't have told us, time is a finite resource. It can run out. And um, it turns out, we're dangerously close to running out of time. We, uh, went through time a little too fast. We, uh, uh, just, just experienced it. Many a time, it's kind of fucked up. Uh, so, the reason I, I gotta ask, we gotta borrow it. Hey, um, what, what, I wouldn't say so. Borrow the time. Oh, um, I'm being cut off. Hey, wait, no. Hey, I, no, we gotta borrow the time so we can have more time.